What's going on YouTube? It's Brian here with the Audio and Technology channel. I wanted to share a quick tip with you today, a quick technology tip with you today. Uh, so I was sitting and I was programming some equipment for one of my jobs and I have no idea uh, what this device is, never used it before, but I need to connect to it. And the way to do that is through the management port. So just to give you a physical view of what a management port is, in this example, we're using a Cisco Catalyst switch. This is a Cisco 2960, and it shows you right here, these are the man management ports on the right side. Uh, so it's kind of funny. I remember um, the, the whole purpose of me living where I currently reside. I moved from one area of the country to another area of the country. Uh, for a pay increase, you know, I was literally like doubling my salary. This is this is the first time I had an opportunity to go from working at the call center or, you know, working fast food or whatever low paying job I had at the time. This is the first time that I had that opportunity uh, to make, had an opportunity to make some good money. Uh, so I moved to this side of the country and uh, this is my first technical job, like literally 15 plus years ago. First, first time I ever had a technical position. Uh, my the my responsibility was to support a wireless provider uh, that had uh, equipment located on top of cell phone towers okay so i was a field technician or a field engineer whichever one you want to call it um so long story short you know <clears throat> i i had technical knowledge but i really didn't have a full understanding of networking okay uh, so I get a call at 3 a.m. in the morning and the knock is informing me that the network is down and it's my responsibility to go out and repair the network. Uh, so I get out and again, I have no like very little uh, technical, technical knowledge. Uh, so I get out on site and we determine that one of the switches might be bad, you know. Uh, so the knock instructs me to connect to the switch, you know, so uh the way that we had done it in the field was if you look at this image there are ports here on the left so in the field you know we always just connected to one of these ports and uh configured the switch did whatever we had to do and then that was it uh but long story short the, those ports weren't weren't accessible and they asked me to connect to the management port this is one of the most embarrassing times in my life i had no clue <laughs> what a management port was uh, to make it even worse, this is a, a Cisco switch, and the Cisco switches require a proprietary uh, blue cable. Actually, here's a, here's a picture of one here. Cisco requires this cable uh, in addition to a USB adapter, a USB serial adapter. You have to use them both together. If you if you look in the image here, this this is you know how the connection goes. But at the time, I I didn't have the technic technical savvy to google this or, or look it up you know i didn't even know what to look up i didn't even know what terms to look up so i, I literally spent hours out in the field just trying to figure out how to connect to this switch you know uh, so again the whole purpose of me doing this tutorial is i want to teach uh, those of you that are uh wanting to know technology maybe you're you're uh working you're in a different field and you just want to switch switch over to the technology field but the purpose of this is to teach you uh, what a management port is because this management port is global meaning that it isn't just cisco that, that uses management ports it's pretty much the majority of networking devices are going to have some type of management port what a management port is is it allows you to connect to the device regardless of how it's been configured um, so uh, today i have a job where i have to connect to a voice gateway and i'm just going to type in voice gateway here Uh, and here's one. Just gonna click on this. I don't even know what this is. It's a Grandstream GXW four twenty or four two two four VoIP phone adapter. Never seen it before in my life. But guess what? I would be able to connect to this device if it has a management port. The way that you do it is in the documentation. It'll tell you uh, this is the management address. The management address is this IP address. It might be one ninety two one sixty eight whatever. Or you may connect through a serial connection or console connection. In the uh, story that I told you earlier with Cisco, it's a console connection. If you look at the image that I expanded on the screen, it says console. 
uh, that's when you end, and this is Cisco, so that's when you know that blue cable and the serial USB adapter are required because you have to, to connect to this device. Uh, so in short, I know this is like a colloquial tutorial or a colloquial video, uh, but that that's how I like to to teach people information. You know, we have to just say it in the the, the way that I talk to you if you're my family. Um, so in short, know that if you're facing a situation where you need to connect to a device and you don't know what its IP address is, if the option is there for a management port, that's the way that you can always connect to a device regardless of, of what its configuration is. Uh, you'd have to check the documentation for the device. Uh, the, the way that you connect to that management port varies from device to device. Sometimes it may be an IP address, sometimes it may be a serial connection, uh, there, there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it, but this is just a quick tip that I want to share with you so that you won't be embarrassed in the field the way that I was the first time that uh, I uh, discovered what a management port was. Hope you have a good day. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the audio and music channel on uh, YouTube. And thanks for watching.